leaders and people who are motivated and inspired for what they do actually work 40% better, it said. He said, 40% better work if we're doing stuff because we're not only willing but excited about it. I, um, I'm not a pastor. I went to seminary for two years. And let me show you why. I think we've got a, we've got a picture. Every single stole that you see in that picture is a family member of mine, and there's at least three or four stoles missing from that picture that are family members of mine. My father on the left-hand side, who in that picture was six, had six months left to live with brain cancer, he survived long enough by the grace of God to uh, marry my wife and I. My grandfather, right next to him, right next to me, his father, my great-grandfather, actually founded the Lutheran Church in Canada, some place way up there, you know? I mean, my brother-in-law, that's Pastor Foten an hour and a half on the other side. My uncle Joseph Struby is a pastor. I've got a second cousin who's a pastor who's, who's the dean of worship, I believe, at the Fort Wayne Seminary. Pastor Foten, hour and a half's grandfather was once the president of the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod. In my family, blood and marriage lines, there's a must kind of thing happening if you realize that none of your male cousins have any intention of being a pastor because David, Jonathan, Brian, none of them were going to do it. They had their sights set on something else. So while it was never, ever spoken, Joel must go to seminary. <laughs> you know, people grow up to be bankers because their dad was, was a banker. People grow up to run, you know what I mean? It just carries on. So I was facing that challenge after graduating from, from college, and uh, I fought it for a while and ended up going to seminary for a couple years, and I was... Uh, fortunate enough to get called into an area of passion, and that is um, Christian music. And I, um, I got to play a keyboard for a recording artist in Nashville for two years, and I toured with him, and I became his road manager and booking and promotion manager, and we ministered to young men and women around this country for two years, and it was outstanding. And then my phone rang, and it was a pastor in Katy, Texas, who wanted to start a church. And all the years of wondering why I had gone to seminary and what this aimless wandering was all about came to fruition when I realized that with a couple years of professional music experience and a couple years of theological training, you can go start a, a church and help the guy who's been called to be a pastor, who's doing it because he's willing, not because he must. I just want to tell you that God has a plan for each and every one of us, and he'll bring it around if, you'll, if you're patient and you wait. 